Hey everybody, it's me, your friendly neighborhood rectangle. And now, better late than never, some square soft Saturday goodness. Okay. Let's see if we can't get a few little levels for poor little Rydia. There we go. Yes. As she grows at this stage, what we're going to see that Rydia has the propensity for basically all magics. I just wanted a little bit of meat on her bones so that we don't just absolutely get myrtilated. Oh, she's out of MP. Now let's see if we can't get a little bit of HPMP back up. Okay. How are items looking?
I'm afraid to do much else with that, so let's see. I'll keep them separate and go this way. All right. She's level four. I want her a little bit higher before I go into that sand cave. So I'm going to try to keep the grinding to a minimum. At least on camera. There we go. No, oh, whoa. whoa, whoa. <laughs> Strike first. Yay. I'm just trying to get her a little bit of experience. How dare I walk in with Final Fantasy 2? <laughs> Well, it is Squaresoft Saturdays. Random battle for me. I know, right, Hellstrings? <laughs> Just how dare I? It's all like, listen. And that was the thing in the games of this era. I mean, if they hadn't made them atrocious with the, random, the number of random number of battles you'd be forcing yourself to sit here and grind forever like just walking back and forth and going oh my god there's periods of time where I'm just not doing anything conversely it's also much like walking into a cave in Pokemon how many times are you going to fight that Zubat just trying look I'm just trying to live my life and get over to freaking Lavender Town okay Yeah, but I'm talking like Dragon Warrior, where the encounter rate was nowhere near as high, except for where it was. <laughs> but when you first start off, man, you just, there's a lot of wasted, just, I'm moving back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, and it's not helping me at all. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Oh, 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 oh. <clears throat> I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't mind it, but if like three quarters of my gameplay is literally just back and forth, I'm like, man, I don't know. But at the same time, you know, at some point I am going to be playing like Destiny of an Emperor on this channel, which there's going to be a lot of that. And that was a little known RPG that most people don't know about. But everybody's heard of the characters from it. Anybody that's played Dynasty Warriors. 
Yeah. It's the RPG based on the, um... the founding of the Han Dynasty. And... The temporary unification of China, instead of having like 17 different, 70 billion different, um, tribes, as it were, you had the Wu, the Shu, I think, no, the Wei, the Shu, and the Han, eventually. <clears throat> But if you've ever played Dynasty Warriors, I'm pretty sure that everybody knows who Lu Bei, Guan Yu, Zhang Fei, you know, Cao Cao, and all of the other characters are. It's the RPG that actually is based off of some of the historical writings. And it was for the NES by Capcom, no less. And it was done really, really well. It was enjoyable. But it was an RPG that the combat was very similar to if you've ever played the original Suikoden for the PlayStation, it's very similar to that, except your individual warlords hit points are literally the number of men you've got underneath you. But it was done in a turn-based fashion instead of, you know, uh, tactitional. So, believe it or not, it's one that I fire up on occasion. Just on occasion. When I'm looking for just a good little RPG to play. And I want something that's not Final Fantasy. Because, I mean, do not get me wrong. Your girl used to be, Or, she still is. <laughs> Just not as much. I used to be a ginormous Squaresoft fan. FF8 broke me, though. <laughs> it absolutely broke me, because I was like, what the crap is this crap? <sighs> Junction system, stealing magic. And then I was like, okay. And then I came back. I played... Nine up until disc three, and then I just kind of lost interest. And I also had one of those unfortunate copies where the movies would either be in reverse or they'd freeze on my PlayStation. And then, so I never really picked it back up. And then I picked back up with FF12, and I was like, okay, and I was ready to beat the game at level 40. But I had so many side quests to do. And they wanted me at level 99 because I should have done all the side quests and all this other stuff. And I was like, mm-mm, get your MMORPG out of my Squaresoft. What? Yeah. So I was not happy with that. But that's neither here nor there. All right. So let's see if she can survive this. Oh no! Uh oh! Run away! Run away! Run away! Thank you. <gasps> We're gonna meet a particularly famous care. Oh, character! <laughs> I have lit one. Oh no! I did a single spell. What am I doing with my life? <clears throat> but as soon as I get him, things are going to be a lot easier. The old coot.
Yay! Gained a level. What? You will the dark sword? Help me! I beg you! What? Why is everybody's first words what? <laughs> A wicked bard tricked my daughter into running away to Damsian, and I sense evil in that direction of Damsian. You must be the sage Tella. Yes, I am Tella. I'm going to Damsian to get my daughter who eloped, but a huge monster is blocking the way. My magic is not strong enough to defeat it. Your dark sword might help, man. This girl is a caller. Hmm, she's quite gifted, I sense. We are also on our way to Damsian. Good! Let us work together to Dams get to Damsian. Let's hurry! That is the most natural conversation ever. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Oh, good old Woolsey. Oh, I'm surprised by fish! I, I, okay. <laughs> And he's in the front row! Oh boy! Alright, come on, Tella. Lit two. Oh, you only have lit one. What are you doing with your life, old man? <laughs> New band named Surprised by Fish. Called it Dibs! <laughs> yes. Made a mistake, yes, I did. Okay. Formation. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Secrets. Remember, it's been. A hot minute since I've played this game. Was there something in the waterfall? Fish. There were fish in the waterfall. How surprising. Poor little Miss Radia. <laughs> Her little sprite's so cute. Ha ha ha, there was. Elixir! Cure 2! A thousand GP! You know what? I could do this, and then this, and then this. That's for your formation, and then that changes your rows. There you go. Uh oh. No. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so go back up there. Oh, these guys like to toad you, if I remember right. I could be wrong, though. Zap. I toad thee! <laughs> Yay, I learned slip. Ugh. That encounter rate, though. <laughs> Iron ring. Do -do -do -do. Um, she's got one. Oh. 
He does not have one, but now he does. There we go. You running? Oh! I was like, are you running low on bow or on arrows? Yes. Yes, you are. Wasn't there a secret? No. Okay. For some reason, I thought there was a secret in the walls in this one. Uh, strike first. All right, I can use the experience. And yeah, there usually is. that those treasure chests down in the bottom right hand corner. any maiden's kisses or anything and she doesn't know the spell toad yet ugh but tella does no oh no he does uh it's not until later in the game Blech. <laughs> surprise by a fish do 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 neighbors having a dance party. I'm just absolutely thrilled that there's no fireworks, screaming, cops being called, or anything else crazy. <laughs> on a Saturday night. It's actually relatively quiet. I'm like, yay! Then again, it has been really wonky weather as of late. I also really like the vocal arrangements that they've done for this for this game. <clears throat> Strike first. Get the heck out of here. Going to run. Roll for initiative. <laughs> nope. And I 
I got all of that. Yeah, I did. Okay. Now I'm gonna fight. Is there a... No? <laughs> My memory is lying to me today. I know there's nothing up here, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, yeah. Eh, to be fair, though, they give you plenty. I had 300 GP when I first entered this dungeon. I'm now at 2114. Seriously. So... It's not that big a deal. But it makes you be a little bit more cautious with running and stuff. There are some games, though, that have that as a penalty, and the way they do it, it's cruel. The way they punish you. Let's take rest here. A special field will protect us from monsters. Yay! We can use our tent or a cabin or an even save. Free healing. Do 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 do. Courtesy of the old coot in here. Fast asleep. She must have been very tired. You said she was. A color of mist. She seems very gifted as a magic user. With proper training, she will be able to wield the magic other than calling monsters. How sweet. Just like Anna's childhood. Anna's your only daughter. She ran away to Dempsey and with a bard because I did not consent to their marriage. Again, this was a different time, guys. What do you want to go to Damsian for? My friend is suffering from a terrible fever in Kaipo. Oh, so you need the sand ruby. So you're, you two are in a hurry. What is the monster of this cavern? It's a horrifying monster with tail and eight huge tentacles. We must defeat it first to save Hannah and your friend. What a spacious tent, I know, right? <laughs> All right, let's go. There we go. Hmm, she got the ice rod. I keep trying to hit L and R buttons because you used to be able to... Or... I want to say you used to be able to... Cycle through that way. No! Get you scrammed by me! Thank you. <laughs> <sighs> For anybody that ever used to ask the question, well, how do monsters have gold? That's how. <laughs> Adventurer, uh, this might do me in if they want to be mean about it. You know what? We need experience.
And you used to be able to use items, especially like how Rydia has the ice rod. You used to be able to use that and get a free spell charge out of it, but I don't. Can you? You can. Okay. And it doesn't use up the item that way. You know... Honestly... The encounter rate really doesn't... <laughs> the encounter rate really doesn't bother me, per se. Like, if I wasn't playing it for... Um... For watching. <laughs> That's the only thing that I'm concerned about is, oh, she's doing nothing but grinding. <laughs> it's like, well, that's kind of the point um, of these old games. Because <laughs> it's nowhere near as bad. I can think of at least two or three games that had far worse encounter rates. Heck, certain parts of FF1 were worse. And at least here you have um, save points and stuff in dungeons. So, there's that. Now these boogers I am going to run from just because usually your jelly monsters and stuff like that freaking only take damage from magic, and I don't have the means of recovery. That's a little too expensive for my taste. So. <laughs> One of those rare cases of a dangerous wiggly jiggly. <laughs> Yet. Oh, this version has the... Okay. Now that I know, I knew that there were hidden paths in this. I forgot how what form they would take. And I'm hoping here in the next couple of weeks I can get back to Saga Frontier. It was just so nice on Saga Frontier not having any random battles. I was like, oh, this is so good. <laughs> I could choose whether or not I had to fight. They're gonna retreat before I get the chance. Yup.
And you're right, most of them are not that obvious. I remember when I first played this game and it broke my head that I could actually cure monsters to death. <laughs> I was like, wow, you could do that. Okay, and Tella, you need yourself a hat. One of the funniest things from FF1, though, was using the healing staff and you would bonk your teammates and stuff on the head with it and that was literally your healing ability okay I'm backtracking too. so yep and that was my fault chocobo summit no I don't want to do that we need to be careful of our MP Gotta be responsible. <laughs> but yeah. Next payday, I should be able to get that new capture card. I'm gonna try to go for a, a Mira box. Rather than the loopy that I was using. I mean, technically, I could just save my pennies and go for an Elgato, but I figure if I ever get big enough to do that, to merit it, I'll do it at that time. Forty to fifty, I can see spending on a device. More than that, and it's like that's a house payment, bro. <laughs> you know, it's like, mm. and I'm not big enough for the Patreon or anything else like that. I don't think so. It's like, yeah, I'm just gonna wait. And I don't do anything that requires that level of technology anyway. I'm doing all old school stuff. It'd be different if I was doing like cyberpunk or something. Stupid bitey gator. Bye. Everybody else is fine. Why are they picking on Rydia? Do I really? Let's see if her rate of attack goes down some. Of getting attacked, I mean. Doing it that way. Zombie is on news. This game category? Oh, Final Fantasy 4 is? Or just retro? Oh. I wonder if it has to do with the fact that there's the Final Fantasy 
the After Years, which was originally for mobile. Because when I put in the stream information for it, I have to scroll through a few different flavors first. I'd be better off in streaming on the retro category. Okay. <clears throat> There really is. There's the hard version. There's the... This is literally just the OG SNES version that we all grew up with. Ooh, darkness. It probably is, because there was the actual Final Fantasy 2. This one's also known as Final Fantasy 2 US, just like Final Fantasy Mystic Quest is known as Final Fantasy Mystic Quest US everywhere else. So it wouldn't surprise me. So would you would you recommend that I ouch, that I uh, stream retro for all of my games or just for this one? Because I'm all for you know advice, tips, tricks, etc. strong against magic. Let's parry. Here we go. do this, but okay. Because I usually do retro if I'm going to do like a variety stream. Like when I'm do just doing a just chatting. But, I mean, I've only done like a couple of those. Where I've done like Carmen San Diego with audience participation and stuff like that. I usually do those, re those just varieties on, um, Usually do those on like Sundays. I never thought about doing it that way. We can go out from here. The monster is in that cave beyond there. What? We should camp to regain our strength out there. What? <laughs> so you're telling me we can go out from here and then here's where the monster is. So we should do this. There we go. It's down here. We blop. Okay, it's 
there something? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you still... Oh, that's right. Rydia doesn't know fire. Um... Is it more cost-effective to do it that way? She... Uh, yeah. It's not every day that you're just living your life and then all of a sudden somebody, some random stranger comes to your village and then burns the crap down and kills your mom in front of you. I mean, jeez. <laughs> And yet, Nintendo was worried about crosses in games. <laughs> oh, I'm s sorry to hear that. your heart. Fire is definitely not something really to play with. Reading a haiku about Cecil? Oh, okay. Neat. Be good experience though. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You got your punches in. Come on. Out. There we go. Yay! All right. Okay. Cause we got the boss fight coming up. Do -do -do -do. Recover MPs. I want my MPs, please. Thank you. He's coming! Octomam! Yes, tentacle monster. That face, though, he's like... <laughs> that always cracked me up. Yeah, he 
was always so goofy looking. But then again, uh, FF6 Ultros, man. Seafood soup. <laughs> oh, good times, man. I am not over leveled for this boss, but I'm blazing through him. I feel like I should I'm right where I should be. Which is part of the reason why I'm not trying to grind heavy or anything else like that. I want it to be a little bit of a challenge. And then once we get to Damsian, we can do a lot of healing and stuff like that. Good job! He's slowing down! Because your nuke are waving his poor little tentacle bubbles. Good grief. No heal run? I don't want that level of challenge. <laughs> I don't think I could do that. I'm not that hardcore. <laughs> Go to Dempsey and from behind this waterfall, it leads to the exit. Two steps outside the cave, boom. There we go. And I was also tossed a, a ROM where you can piddle around with... Oh? The Red Wings just bombed in... Why? Uh... I mean, I knew that was gonna happen, but... Why? Oh man, everybody's dead. Okay. Just a Is that a little better? <laughs> there we go. I forgot this game is kind of quiet. Terrible bombardments from the airships. It took the crystal. Crank it up like this rectangle is a square dance! <laughs> can go louder.
There we go. Now, of course, the next game that I play is going to be like just so loud. <laughs> so I'll have to remember to turn it down. <laughs> There's a pot of recovery above. It's one of the things about RetroArch. It likes to use 100% error. It likes to, by default, output at 100% of system volume. So I literally have to play with the volume mixer every time I try to stream or whatever. <gasps> that, that's Anna! Ah, uh, Anna! You're the bard! You did this to her! Huh? Oh, the best line in the game is coming up. You swindler. Please, listen! You spoony bard! There it is. Oh no, he dropped the S bomb. <laughs> Shut up! Listen! Alright, Navi. I was. Shut your mouth! I. I. Uh, uh, please. Stop! Are you all right? Father, Edward is the Prince of Damsian. He was disguised as a bard when he came to see me in Kaipo. Forgive me, Father, for running away. But I love Edward. We thought of asking for your consent. But when we were about to leave... Golpez attacked us with Baron's Red Wings. Who is that man? I don't know. But why? He took our crystal of fire and Anna shielded me from the arrows. You loved him that much. F Father, forgive me. I, I love Edward. And everybody. Anna! Who is Golbez? I heard that he's gathering the crystals using Baron's Red Wigs. <laughs> Stop crying! Your tears won't bring back Anna. Wait for me, Golbez. to avenge my daughter. Oh. You can't go alone. I don't need any help. This is my own affair. <laughs> I'm not crying. You're crying. Uh, Hannah. Cry, baby. Huh? You're a man. You're a grown-up. You're not the only one who's lost, lost loved ones. Rydia. <laughs> you, you may be right. I'm just a coward, but, but I don't care. I'm staying here with Anna. <laughs> P 
pimp slap for the win. <clears throat> You're not the only one who's sad, Edward. Besides, Anna won't be happy if you do that. We really need your help. Come with us. <laughs> my, my help. <laughs> your first RPG. You love this game. Yay! I'm Cecil. I'm looking for the Sand Ruby to help my friend who is ill in Kaipo. And I need your help. I, I help you? Yes, you. She seems to be an important person. You shouldn't lose your loved one. The sand ruby is made from the ant lion when it lays its eggs in the cave. The cave is in the east, but we must go across the shallows to get there. There's the hovercraft and dam sand we can use. We can also go to Kaipo through the shallows. Let's hurry. And now arguably the most useless character in Final Fantasy II. <laughs> I mean, he's got his uses. <laughs> Goodbye, Anna. All right, and now we got the little boot scootin' hovercraft. Do 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 where there's no encounters. Do do do. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Cecil's all like, "Oh yeah, hovercraft hype." Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we can go to Kaipo from this way. So let's backtrack just a smirgin. Why must you be in my field of view there, Mr. Arrow? Thank you. <laughs> Nobody has summoned you yet. Now we go sneak a snack. These away and all of these and all of these. Oh, we have to do the mountain and all that crap first. Don't we? No, I am jumping ahead in the storyline. Okay, so you need to be in the back row. Yeah, it was my first serious RPG that I beat too, Dayhawk. So, while I don't like it as much as FF6... Or Chrono Trigger... It's in my top five. Yeah, no particular order. Basically, FF6, FF4, Chrono Trigger, and Saga Frontier. Those are my go-to RPGs. All right, so formation. You need to get your happy booty down here. And uh, do you have anything, or did you just leave with the clothes on your back? Okay, so you left with stuff. Good. All right. And if you see I'm about to miss something that should be blatantly obvious, you know, feel free to let me know. Because <laughs> I'm doing this off of memory. I'm just legit doing this off of memory. Oh, that turtle is weak against I And I totally get it. You know, it was my first one that I actually beat also. 
but six was the first one that I actually enjoyed with any depth. But again, four is definitely in my top five. You had a, com a conversation with the sleeping person while playing this game? <laughs> How funny. Well, that's your brother being involved mostly, so you got to. Oh, well, awesome! That is definitely an important milestone, too. But people don't seem to give it the love that they give, like, FF7. So I'm like, you know what? Let's give it some love. Because, I mean, 4 was important. Was there a thing? Was there a... No, not here. In this cave, there's some hidden secrets, too, and I cannot remember for the life of me. They asked me if you ever got the Tim Cranks? The Tim Cr What the heck is a Tim Crank? You know, the one you got from the big. <laughs> what? <laughs> they were not even here right now in the same zip code as you. Seven was cool. It was. Six felt like an expansion on what FF2 was doing. Huh. I never thought about it like that. And of course, all of the character designs in these old games are by my favoriteest artist ever, Yoshitaka Amano. I guess you could see... I, Yeah, I guess I could see it like that. So, perhaps I should do FF6 after I finish 4? He was dreaming about you playing this game while you were playing it. Ah, that's great. Don't do it. And I do like how they handled the petrify mechanics because it's like you get started. That's very true, too. That is very true. They were all basically just carbon copies. Although I don't know. I mean, FF3 was unique in its own right. Because that's where you started having, like, your class changes and stuff. Well, no. Yeah. Because... Two had your set characters, which was something that was different than FF1. So, I mean, everything played off of one another in all of those regards, but... I'm more acquainted with FF3 than I was with 2. I've played and I'm gonna get killed before I run away. Little Miss Kitty is wanting your attention. I got you. And yeah, that's true. <laughs> yes, those were vicious cream. <laughs> they were evil. I think now 
most of your jelly monsters are magic, heavily magic based, so it's like, mm -mm. oh, well, I mean, okay. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, diet tap. <laughs> I'm not reading that comment out loud, but yeah, <laughs> you might be right. I'm not sure. <laughs> Yeah, and I really, really do need to replay Mystic Quest. As a matter of fact, that's how Diet Tab found me. That was one of the first ones that, that I know that he started making an appearance. There's a thing in this cave. really is, but <clears throat> interesting point of fact. <clears throat> All of the ones for the Game Boy were actually a part of the Saga universe. Like Saga Frontier. Including Secret of Mana. And some of the ones for the Wonder Swan and stuff like that, um, which is why they were they were released re-released for the Switch under the collection of Saga. Um, they all have the same mechanics, you know, where you have the monsters and you have um, groups of enemies and this and this and this and this. Yeah, I remember that that was one of the first things that you started making a regular appearance, let's say it that way. Because <laughs> I kept getting flustered and floundering around and, and making the same trek around on one of the mountains. <laughs> Eight million times. I need to just start over with that, even though I was ha about halfway through. <laughs> Yes, 20 damages. Gonna run away. And I don't really have much experience with those, though. Man, you just stay hidden. Um. But if there's enough demand, I might consider playing those in the future. My first real foray was Secret of Mana, which I'm gonna get hate for. <laughs> but I was not in love with that game. It's... I want my perspective on it to be changed, which is why I keep mentioning, you know, hey, if somebody wants to play along with me, I wouldn't mind it. Yeah, well, then technically, you have played the Saga series, if you've played Adventure and Secret of Mana, or FF Legend 1, and, one 2, and 3. 
because that was all part of that same universe. There's not anything. Well, it lied to me. It being my poor memory. Is there... Is this just a, a room? So, yeah. You have played those then. Um, and then... Gotcha. I played Legend... It was either Legend 2 or Adventure at the recommendation of Kitten Gumbo. A long time ago. When I was looking for other stuff to justify me keeping my Game Boy. Is that a save point? It is. But yeah, Saga Frontier was one of those that I would continue to pick up and play around with and then come back to and stuff like that. And I, I just really, really fell in love with what they tried to do with it. And that's kind of made me want to go back and play the other games. I've watched a bunch of Let's Plays on them. And I'm like, let's see. <laughs> know and I do want to kind of do secret of mana and stuff like that but at some point I think it would be really really cool because it is three player at least to have two individuals controlling the characters and stuff like that and help them with the voice acting and stuff I think that would be heckin awesome so if I ever get around to that and the secret of evermore because I've had that recommended to me too um you know that'll be something that we can kind of talk about and stuff So just out of curiosity, since it sounds like we all have a, a bunch of Squaresoft fan, fellow Squaresoft fans, which title do we want to see next after two? I'm totally down for six, but at the same time, I've had people ask me for one, I've had ask, people ask me for, oh, there ain't nothing up here. Um, I've had a bunch of people ask me for seven, and I'm like, mm -hmm. I've got it sitting on my Switch the remaster and I was like oh god this is horrible I'd rather emulate it because <laughs> there was some weird lag issues but um and I know I eventually want to do five also I just made a ginormous circle. I think I have. Alright, and that's what I was afraid of. Okay. So we'll just get back here. Meow. Oh. 
You wish you had a CB radio. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <laughs> so you could just be all like, Breaker 1 9 or Breaker 1 9 or come on down. <laughs> we got a snowbird situation. Oh. <laughs> now, to be fair. Are you East Coast or West Coast, Hellstrings? I can't remember. Is someone being unfair? They are to you. Because if it's super late... Oh, I was just going to mention, if you've got a cell phone... It's entirely feasible you can hijack, especially if they've got a Bluetooth speaker that they're blasting. Central. So yeah, it's kind of unreasonable to be having such a loud party. Because <laughs> I know we're going on 11 here. I'm over in Eastern. Someone else is having a square dance. <laughs> This is where I came from, right? So I need to go back up. Is that right? Did I just make a ginormous loop? Or was I supposed to go in that central section? I did, I goofed. All right. Uh. <laughs> do we need to go find Weezer's version of Master of Puppets and, and just do a live stream of that and, and take the hit for the copyright strike that I'm going to get for that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Or just have a retro country station blaring. Whew. I have totally done that before. Especially when I work night shift. Somebody was blaring their music at all hours of the no of, of the day. Like three houses down. There's no reason why I should hear that in my back bedroom. God, this is the one that lets you just burn through items if you if you're not careful. Okay, so there's nothing on these outer. <sighs> well, I appreciate the strike first. You could have let me just go down the stairs. <laughs> Oh, man. The character design for this Antelion, though, is absolutely... 
Is there something about my voice you don't like, game? <laughs> oh, yeah. I just want to give you all sorts of experience. There we go. The character design for this antelion is hilarious, though. This is the layer of antelion. Oh! Raynaud, antelion is tame. I will take the sand ruby. Yahoo! No! That right, chump! Let's go, Radia! You got it, Cecil! Like, all right. What even are you? <laughs> it's like the worst angry French bulldog I ever did see. And his sing ability. Is he weak against lightning? Is that what it is instead of ice? I think so. Okay. Chuckle bop against this. Oh, well, we can do that. Would be mandible, but if it's bulldog, are they dog? <laughs> I don't know. They could be dog doubles. I don't know. But you know what I mean? His face is just like. What is that face even? <laughs> He's all like, I'm gonna get you. Yes, Diet Tab Zero, but what is a man? But a miserable pile of secrets. I'll go home. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Ugh. That's on another stream, folks. <clears throat> that will happen eventually. And I know the Fiend of Earth is kind of hilarious, too, once he takes his final form. But that character design always cracked me up. He was just all like... Bleh, <laughs> Yay! Keep a, high, a wine glass hidden on your person for if anybody asks that. You can pull it out and throw it across the room. <laughs> Only if I'm not in my own house. And then I'll make sure that it's filled with glitter. And I'll make sure to reserve it for somebody that I genuinely dislike batch of dialogue that we all know but I completely overlooked tame creatures are getting <laughs> aggressive every day by day it must be important of some kind let's go cure Rosa oh yes sorry Rydia I just made you sound kinda adult there Oh, for eight. See, it does not sink. It does not sink. Wine glass full of glitter is a war cry. <laughs> there are some people that deserve it, though. Yeah, we're just gonna get the heck out of here. Do I have the warp ability? I do! It warped me back! Ah, oh, it takes me down but not up. Damn it. <laughs> I forget it. 
That was my fault, not the game's. Garor. <laughs> Okay. But at least it took me to where I can get to a savey place. There we go. Toidles! Oh, nios. There we go. You're just now noticing that I killed a turtle? I, I've killed like a bajillion of them. That was not an innocent turtle. It was trying to eat my face. <laughs> I call shenanigans diatep zero. <laughs> Unfortunately, some of these games you just can't do a pacifist run. <laughs> Could you imagine me playing Undertale? Anyway. <laughs> Two reasons. One, everybody would want me to do a pacifist run, and two, if you have had any doubt on my ability at shooters, because I know how some of the combat works. Oh lord. <laughs> Ooh, it would be rough. All right, let's see if we can get this sand ruby. Rosa and get her fixed. And yeah, technically I didn't have to use a tent. I could have went here and, and rested all of my HP and MP. But let's go back down here. Let's go get our beloved little girlfriend, the white mage Rosa. As I stumble around drunken town, apparently. There we go. All right, where are you at? The sticky notes on your computer just started freaking out at you? I went in the wrong building! <laughs> I was about to say, Diet Tab, I have that happen on a daily basis, but then again, I still use paper sticky notes, too. <laughs> Rosa! Use the sand ruby over Rosa. So apparently I'm using red light therapy 
to heal her of her sun poisoning. You haven't used paper since pay-per-view! Nah, admittedly, I like using OneNote and stuff like that, but if it's for a quick note or something like that, literally, I will write it down on a sticky note and then destroy it. Backs of envelopes, etc. You know, nothing PHI protected, of course, mind you. Mm. Oh, Cecil. Rosa. I heard that you were lost since the earthquake at Mist, I, but I couldn't believe it. I'm sorry, I worried you. By the way, Rosa, who's Golpez? Oh, the king invited him to the Red Wings. The king's not the same as he used to be. It seems that he is nothing more than Golpez's puppet to collect all the crystals. The crystal of water from Mystidia is already in his hands. But other crystals. The crystal of fire is in Damsian. Air in Fabul. And earth is in Taroya. The crystal of fire is already gone. Rosa, he's Edward and the Prince of Damsian. And this girl, Rydia, of Mist. Are you okay? Yeah, thank you. So Damsian has already been attacked. Then the next target is Fabul. We must hurry. <coughs> Rosa. Oh, you must rest. We'll go to Fabul. But we must get over Mount Hobbs to go to Fabul. The trail is blocked by thick ice. Rydia, can you use the spell of fire? Uh, uh, no, no, I can't. No. But you're a caller. Black magic should be easy for you, Rydia. I am not going to cough my lungs up for this. <clears throat> Rosa, you must rest. I am all right, and I am a white wizard. I won't bother you. Let's go. Cecil, Rosa wants to be with you. Don't you see? <sighs> Edward. <laughs> okay, Rosa. Let's go together. But it is too late tonight. Rest and sleep for now. Okay, Cecil. That night, of course, poor Edward can't sleep. And he kind of, his sprite looks like a cat <laughs> from the side. So he starts playing. I miss you, my dear Anna. No! Edward! Uh, Anna? Fight, Edward. Believe in yourself and be strong. Yes, poltergeist. <laughs> Him's dead. And a sea hack just gave me eight hundred experience. What? <laughs> Anna! Edward, dear, I must go. Anna, please don't go. Don't leave me alone. Edward. 
Shepard. Don't let Colbez have all the crystals. You loved me. Now, give your love to all of your people. I will, Anna, but what am I supposed to do now? Poor guy. <laughs> Let's go! And he's the crown prince of Damsian. Okay, so we've got a pretty... Oh, Rosa, baby, you need to be in that back row. <laughs> so... What we're gonna do is we're gonna flip you. And we're gonna flip you. And you, Captain Pseudo-Useless, need to be right there. <laughs> I went for a walk to clear my head over my dead girlfriend and ran into the ghost of my dead girlfriend. Talk about the odds! Oh, Diet Tab Zero. I know, right? <laughs> <clears throat> so... So she at least came with preparations. All right. Let's see if there's anything else I can get. Meh. Okay. There'll be more and better equipment later on. All right. I just noticed that the entrance of that town looks like the mouth of that antelion. Okay. So... Meow. We'll go over to Mount Hobbs. I was just making for sure that my party was healed up enough. Okay, there we go. And I think this is a good place to go on ahead and call it, because I've been streaming for almost two hours on this game alone. <laughs> and then three hours almost on Aria of Sorrow, so. Um, yeah. Definitely be thinking about what you guys want to see next. Let me know. It's almost Chris off Sunday. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but, um... But a soft square is easy to mold into a rectangle. This is also true. But, uh, <laughs> you know, definitely let me know, you know, if there's a particular title that you're jonesing to see or whatnot. And we'll take a look into it just to try to mix things up um, and yeah if there's any suggestions or tips that you guys can give me about you know how the stream goes etc please let me know don't hesitate I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys it has been an awesome stream tonight with all of you comment and, and everything else like that it's been wonderful you know I, I greatly appreciate the fact that you guys are taking time out of your days to to come and, and chit chat with me while we play old school games and reminisce and everything and I look forward to our next stream together so with that being said I think I am going to go on ahead and call it here and I will catch you guys on the next stream Thanks so much for watching, 
and we will see you again soon. Bye for now.